Tony Chase. Laser burns. Laser burns. Do I own the White House? Or do you claim you thought you owned the White House? Anybody calls me a common citizen, they must get prosecuted and they must get put on trial. They tried to steal my face. They tried to steal my nose. They tried to steal x-rays. They tried to steal things from my body. It is very hard to confirm what Tony's early life was like, as well as his life today. Because as the video progresses, you'll notice that Tony tells some absolutely outlandish stories. And I want you to keep in mind that he believes every word of them to be true. From his war with an international agency that is burning his teeth with satellite lasers, to the theft of dozens of billion dollar industries his family owned, Tony believes that there has been some grave injustice done to him. And if you want to even begin to understand a situation like this, you have to take into account what Tony believes his childhood to have been. He claims to be the son of Walt Disney and Doris Duke. He has also referred to Howard Hughes as his father in the past. But no matter who his father is, Tony believes himself to be part of what he calls the American royal family. Tony claims that his family not only loaned the government money to get it out of a sticky situation, but he also owns many multi-billion dollar companies, all of which have been stolen by the notorious government man. The government man and the satellite man seem to be interchangeable. They are all part of some massive government agency that has robbed Tony and his family of all of their wealth. At least this is what Tony claims. Tony truly believes that he is entitled to trillions of dollars as part of his family inheritance, that he should own massive companies and live in a giant mansion. But the government man and their conspiracy has prevented all of this. Tony claims that they stole him away at childhood and have been harassing him since. All of this makes Tony extremely angry, and he believes that when he boots up the camera, that this so-called government man is watching. This is his only way to let them know that he will not take this abuse, and that he will not lay down and let them take what is rightfully his. That satellite man just communicated, he said, he said he dared me to claim that I outranked him or something. Do you own Smith & Wesson or do I? Do you own Winchester or do I? Do I own the NRA or do you? Do I own military installations, weapons corporations in this country or do you? Do I own air fighter jet manufacturing and commercial jet manufacturing? Do I own car country, car company manufacturing in America? Do I own farms in America? Do I own gas stations? Do I own 165,000 gas stations around the fucking world? Or is it you? Or is I, or am I the owner? Do I own John Deere tractor or do you? Do I own Freightliner or International or Peterbilt? Or do you? Do I own Mack Truck? What companies do you think I own? Do I own General Motors? Or do I own Lamborghini, Ferrari, Chevrolet? What do you own, motherfucker? Do I own Lamborghini? Do I own Mercedes? Do I own BMW? What do you fucking own? Do I own the White House? Or do you claim you thought you owned the White House? You better go into court. You mother why do you think they call me the son of Uncle Sam? Are you tired of real life agencies stealing your information? Well then let me tell you about the sponsor of today's video, Aura. It's terrifying to think that some data broker has your full name, email, home address, health records, your relatives, all of it. They're very clever, and for the vast majority of you listening, they already have all of that information on you. But that's where Aura comes in handy. They find the data brokers that have your information and submit the opt-out requests for you. Not only cutting down on the amount of spam and scam, but also adding another layer of protection against people who would use your social media accounts 
for nefarious purposes. It is absolutely shocking how much of your info is out there, guys. With more companies every day taking your information like this, Aura's services become more helpful by the day. Stop data brokers from exposing your information. Go to Aura.com slash KiwiTapes and get a 14-day free trial to see if your personal information has been compromised. And a big thank you to Aura for sponsoring this video. Needless to say, Tony absolutely despises the government man, not only blaming them for him not owning various international companies, but also for burning his teeth with lasers. As I'm sure you could tell by the thumbnail, there are some serious dental health problems going on with Tony Chase. That's not meant to be a dig at Tony in any way, it's simply the truth. Some of his teeth are literally black. I guess I should explain the Satellite Man a little bit better, because him and the Government Man seem to be working for the same agency, or they could even be the same person. Tony claims that the Satellite Man is operating satellites in space that shoot down lasers or microwaves to zap his teeth. When Tony is experiencing tooth pain, he'll often boot up the camera and start complaining as if he were talking directly to the satellite man. How Tony's teeth got this way, and why he behaves so psychotically, are commonly attributed to drug use. I have seen no proof, nor heard Tony talk about anything of that nature. All I have seen is him profusely blaming it on the satellite man. Very important in reverence to factuality of this country and which people are the legal highest ranking people in this country. Put my ranking on public television of who I am and who my parents are. This government satellite man is burning my mouth, making me buy cigarettes, and then burning my mouth after I buy cigarettes. I need to move to another city and state. There is no statute of limitations of prosecuting these people. But swift justice is necessary against these satellite controllers. They have damaged my teeth. They are stalking me. They've stolen my blood. They're burning blood when they're burning my mouth. They're burning bones. That's fourth degree burns. That is mutilation. That is hate crimes. These people must get prosecuted. Any politician think they outrank me in America? Which person is the la largest landowner? Any person that thinks they outrank me, you must go on television and say you think you outrank me. Don't forget, I was born with impeachment status, and I do have legal right to impeach presidents, governors and mayors, police chiefs, and other people, even at their own companies if they're trying to hurt me. Make sure you understand, I don't have nothing to hide, motherfucker. These are my real teeth, and you are trying to make me run around by you burning my mouth and teeth. You're trying to control my life, then you're trying to say stupid shit, like, oh, that man on fire looks like he's out of control you did to my teeth man look at those black marks those are laser marks on the teeth laser burns laser burns and my dentist needs to go on television and state the facts that those are laser burns on the teeth or he can get arrested if he does not go on television to say that those are laser burns from satellite and government people doing that to my teeth Look at that. Laser burns. Laser burns. This motherfucker is trying to claim he had whiter bones than me. This man is trying to play competition of my teeth. You are ruining my life. You better leave me alone. All you people involved must step down from your position. My status must get advertised in the media of who I am and who my parents are. And if you try to call me a common citizen, I'm going to sue you for every fucking penny you got. You've been holding me hostage. You've damaged my teeth. You must get prosecuted. While there are many theories as to why Tony's teeth are this way, we cannot say for certain. And public consensus is that Tony is a habitual user of certain substances. Tony, however, will adamantly deny any sort of drug usage, but with Tony also making claims like he will never stop growing and his parents were nine feet tall, most everything he says is up to speculation. The only thing that lends any credence to any of this is the fact that Tony has had the same story for years now. Tony has had his current channel for over five years now, but his presence online goes 
far deeper than that. I stumbled across a YouTube channel by the name of Royal Howard Hughes. This channel was made by Tony and he posted on it as far as 14 years ago, stating the exact same thing, that the Satellite Man was attacking his face with rays. And when Tony eventually stopped posting to the Royal Howard Hughes channel, he created his current one. With absolutely no intentions of changing his content, Tony has been complaining about the Satellite Man for over a decade now, as well as his royal lineage. Tony believes that the Satellite Man is attacking him because he is the son of two predominant people from the past. Doris Duke, Howard Hughes, and Walt Disney all commanded massive fortunes during their time, and that because Tony is the rightful heir of all of these monies, that the Satellite Man has abducted and attacked him. But even though he has been stripped of all of his wealth, Tony still believes that there are special laws in place that give him exemptions from certain activities being done against him. Make no mistake, Tony is not a commoner like you and I. They were just dry heaving on my cat again. They just choked my cat. Every goddamn government man, you said you're a concerned person? Like you thought I was a common citizen you motherfuckers is that what you fucking think you think you can get into my life and terrorize my life you government motherfuckers better set up in court i need every fucking reason for why any of you goddamn government motherfuckers trespassed into my life and kidnapped me from my mother and father's mansions you better understand what that royal protocol fucking means that means if a president, or a governor, or a mayor, or a cop, or anybody calls me a common citizen, they must get prosecuted, and they must get put on trial. I ain't f***ing with you, man. I am not f***ing with you or your goddamn bullshit. You stealing my f***ing money, and your government agents trying to steal my identity. There are so many facets to what Tony calls the Royal Protocol. It doesn't just have to do with government laws, but also Tony's genetics. This next section of the video is going to be pretty hard to cover here on YouTube, but I'm going to try to do it to the best of my abilities. Tony has made grandiose claims about the length of certain parts of his body, and when I say grandiose, I mean it. As you heard me state earlier, Tony has always claimed that he will never stop growing, almost like a snake. And when his parents died, they were nine feet tall. And that the only reason that Tony hasn't reached these sizes is because he believes that government officials are stealing parts of his body. Like I said, it's all very difficult for me to explain, so I'm just gonna have Tony take over. My royal family heritage. My father had a big piece. My grandfathers had big pieces. These men that stole from my piece, these men that tried to steal my identity, those men need to get arrested. And they need to be interviewed and asked why they were trying to steal my piece. And who the hell do you think you are trying to steal my piece, claiming you were a bigger man than my father or grandfather's? That man gets the death penalty. Like I said, there's a lot of stuff down that road that I can't really cover here, but needless to say, it's all very entertaining and very disturbing at the same time. The way Tony makes his content is simple. He sets down, turns on the camera, and gives his message to the Satellite Man. So he's kind of in his own bubble for this thing. And there are so many people that want to get to the bottom of just what's going on. Some people even think that Tony was somehow fake. That rumor can be completely dispelled by a series of interviews that Tony had with a channel called Horse Puckets. Horse Puckets got to talk to Tony for a couple hours and pick his brain about quite a few issues. From his lineage to the Satellite Man, we get Tony's perspective on it all, and realize that Tony Chase is no different in private than he is when he boots up this camera. I'm going to show you some of the best clips from these interviews, and I want to give a big shout out to Horse Puckets for conducting them. You know, my mother sued the FBI or sued the government in Indiana for illegal detainment. And in reference to the Ray family, my mother sued them for calling me their child. You see, they're working, they were working for Frank Sinatra. And Frank Sinatra had blew all his money. And my father, even when he wrote him a check, saying, don't ever ask the family for nothing. Don't ask me or my mother or father for nothing. And it was on the check. And the treasury has a copy of the, the check. But then Frank had blew all his money, 
and he got blackballed from Hollywood, possibly because of the murder of my mother. And <laughs> then he was trying to get back into Hollywood. So then he kidnapped me after my mother had died. Uh, quick question. Yeah, yeah, think about the fatal attraction categories. Like, they tried to steal my face. They tried to steal my nose. They tried to steal x-rays. They tried to steal things from my body. Like, they were trying to run me into the ground. Like, they were trying to call me a nobody. And I got kidnapped from California. And California government has 100% obligations to deliver monies to me and to help me move back to California. I was held hostage in Arkansas. My mother had to rescue me. Her and Noah Dietrich went, you know, went out there to rescue me before. And they tried to damage my teeth in Arkansas when I was there. They tried to steal my teeth, too, in, Cal in Arkansas. I would highly recommend that you go watch these interviews if you enjoy Tony content. Tony talks about almost everything. And the chilling part is that it all matches his story from 14 years ago. Or even longer than that, Tony has believed that this satellite man has been after him. This is the world that he has been living in for over a decade and a half. And there is so little truth to the story that we can find out. We know next to nothing about the reality of Tony's life, just what he's told us about the satellite man and his supposed lineage. Almost every day, Tony will post a new video, either explaining what the satellite man was doing to him, his cat, or all the money that had been stolen from him. It seems to be one of the only things that he thinks about. And while we may never know the reality of Tony's situation, we have a pretty clear picture into the reality of his mind. That he was supposed to inherit billions of dollars and was cheated. That both he and his animal are currently being attacked by the satellite man. And that his royal status should prevent all of this. Tony Chase has interested me for a long time, and I think part of it is the mystery that grabs me. Is Tony just some guy working at various fast food restaurants, trying to live? Or is he the son of Howard Hughes and Doris Duke, robbed of what he is rightfully owed? I'll let you be the judge.